What is up, Scalders? It's so, so great to be with all of you today. I hope that you're doing very, very well and that all of you are super excited about the holiday season. I know I am. I also am seeing winter break steadily approaching and that's pretty nice. Anyway, I have a bunch of really fun stuff planned for you all today. So let's get started. Stand on up so we can stretch. Let's start with some deep breaths in and out so we can get centered, relaxed, focused, all those good things. So let's breathe in and let it out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now this time when we breathe in, we're gonna breathe in for five seconds. We're gonna hold for two and we're gonna let out for seven. So five, two, seven, breathe in, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice job, let's do that one more time. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, hold, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice job. Now, let's shake it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, 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 zero. I want everybody to jump up and down ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I want you to jump up and down on just your right foot ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now your left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in and out. Roll your neck around. And I had somebody describe to me the other day that when we roll our necks around, imagine like there was just this tiny little weight that was hanging off of your ear and your job is to sort of just guide each ear as the weight shifts from one to the other. Switch directions. So we shouldn't be sort of pushing our neck down or anything like that or instead just think of it naturally rolling around. Very good. Stretch your shoulder. Stretch the other shoulder as well. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. I know you can't see mine, but wiggle your toes as well. Very good, very good. Pull your shoulders forward and back. Give yourself a big hug. Mm. One more deep breath in and out. Great job, everybody. I know I was trying some new things for our stretching and our mirroring. Thank you for indulging me. Now we're ready to go on to Zumba Rhythm. All right, scholars, so today we have a Zumba Rhythm that is pretty much non-stop. Man, the man is non-stop. Just like that. Here we go. Tikam, tiki tiki, cinnamon, cinnamon. Tim, ka tiki tiki, grasshopper, grasshopper. Ka, tiki 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 tiki. Tiki tiki tiki, tiki tiki. Okay. Woo! So let's make sure we keep it nice and steady, all the normal things. Let's get to it. One, two, ready, and. Tikam, tiki tiki, cinnamon, cinnamon. Tim, ka tiki tiki, cinnamon, cinnamon, grasshopper. Ta, tiki 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 tiki. Tiki 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 tiki. Tiki tiki. Sorry, I 
said cinnamon instead of grasshopper. That's weird. I don't know why grasshopper always happens to give me trouble. Okay, here we go. One more time. Tikam, tiki tiki cinnamon, cinnamon. Tim, ka tiki tiki grasshopper, grasshopper. Ka, tiki 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 tiki. Tiki 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 tiki. Tiki tiki. There we are. Okay, one final time. Here's the quickest one. Two, uh, one, two, ready. And tikka, 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 cinnamon, cinnamon. Tim, tikka, tikka, grasshopper, grasshopper. Ta, tikka, 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 tikka. Tikka, 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 tikka. Wonderful job. If you made it through the entire thing. That was even hard for me. So, awesome job, everybody. I'm really proud of you. So, scholars, I had such an amazing time last week talking all about arranging and showing you those two examples of the Christmas song that I figured, why not just make an entire other lesson all about arranging? And I can show you even more videos. Does that sound pretty good? I think that sounds pretty good. So, let's get started. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! We are going to be doing the same kind of thing where we sort of compare and contrast different versions of the same song. The song we're going to be focusing on today is something called Carol of the Bells. Our first video for today is the original version of the song, which was written for choir. Let's watch. Okay, so I love this song first and foremost. I think it's really, really, really cool. So now we're gonna move on to our first arrangement of Carol of the Bells. I figured we would start with another vocal version of this song, so it's only using voices as well. However, this is done in a completely modern style, and this is done by a famous vocal group called Pentatonix. <laughs> Let's see how they flesh out the music, turning it from a piece that's one minute and 15 seconds long into something that is about four minutes long. And let's also pay attention to how they use five voices instead of the normal four different singing parts covered by a large choir. I love Pentatonix. They are always so imaginative with how they use the voices in their group. And they always take something and sort of turn it on its head. They create something brand new. I always leave feeling surprised after watching one of their videos. We're gonna follow this up with a more traditional arrangement of it. So this is a choir, but now we're adding an entire orchestra and a lot of bells because shouldn't we add bells to Carol of the Bells? makes sense to me. I feel like this arrangement is just a fantastic example of how the orchestra can feel so grand just because there's so many different instruments, there's so many different colors, and by colors I mean different kinds of sounds that are happening in this piece. The arranger gets an opportunity to use all sorts of different colors in order to paint something beautiful with this song. Now let's watch this one. I know orchestras and big choirs aren't necessarily as common as like rock bands or rappers or I don't know, a whole bunch of other styles of music. But for me, there's this part of my soul that for some reason orchestras and choirs sort of just get to that part of my soul that other things don't in the same way, which is pretty cool. Now, speaking of rock bands, I figure that I would save this last version of Carol of the Bells for the end because it's probably the most famous version of it, even though the piece isn't titled Carol of the Bells. It uses some of the music from it. And so on and so on. But it also adds some other holiday songs into the mix. And it's done with a rock band and it's adding some orchestral instruments as well. If this was a guitar amp, 
the volume would be turned up all the way to 11. Not 10, all the way to 11. With that, let's watch a live performance of Trans-Siberian Orchestra's version of Carol of the Bells, which they title Christmas Eve slash Sarajevo. Enjoy. Here we go! That was pretty awesome. That was so sick. I forget every time I watch that song how just how cool it is. My goodness. It's like if Queen decided to do some holiday song, right? Like all the loud guitars. I think that's the only thing that could make it better is if Queen did it and Freddie Mercury got to sing on it. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching all those things with me. We're gonna go to one final thing for today's lesson and then we will be done. So like last time, scholars, we are going to finish with another sing-along, dance-along, because I had a blast and I want to do it again. And I'm the teacher, so woohoo. Now, sadly, I'm not going to be dancing and singing along with all of you. Because I want to make sure that you can all watch this next video on YouTube, so I can't put it into our video. Instead, you're going to have to click a link in the YouTube description or a link that's in the Google Doc that your teachers have access to. We're gonna be singing and dancing along to one of my favorite holiday songs, Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano. In addition to loving music, I also love different languages, even though I don't really speak any others fluently besides English. So I thought what a great opportunity for all of us to sing in a different language as well as English all together. So let's dance along to a Christmas groove. Let's sing some Spanish. Here, Here we go. go. Fantastic job today, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed our activities, our songs, the things that we got to watch and listen to. I had a blast being with all of you today. As always, I miss every single one of you so, so much. And for those of you who I haven't met in person, I cannot wait until we get that opportunity. Have an amazing rest of your day, an incredible rest of your week, and I will see you all next time. Bye, scholars.